Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to the GNOME 3 Desktop Environment. As the name implies, GNOME 3 is the third version of the wildly popular GNOME Desktop, which has been trusted by many Linux users since 1999. Much like the evolution from version 1 to version 2, GNOME 3 is a radical reimagining of the GNOME Desktop, intended to provide a clean and good-looking desktop environment that integrates into your applications and online accounts. Though its early versions had many issues with stability, GNOME 3 has matured into a very stable and elegant desktop experience. Today, we'll be looking at the basics of using GNOME 3. The first thing that you will notice about GNOME is how empty the desktop seems. All the desktop consists of is a single panel along the top of the screen. This panel has three main elements, the Activities menu, the Clock, and the user menu. Let's go over these elements from right to left. On the far right, you have your user menu. This gives you icons for your volume, network connectivity, Bluetooth, and battery. Clicking these icons yields a drop-down menu, allowing you to adjust your speaker volume and microphone volume when available. This menu also gives you options to adjust your network and Bluetooth settings when available, gives you the options to log out or change your user settings, and gives you quick links to your system settings, lock screen, and shutdown menu. Now let's look at the clock. By default in GNOME, the clock will show you the day of the week and the current time in 24-hour format. If you would like to change this, you can do so in your system settings. Clicking the clock provides a dialog with calendar on the right and any past notifications that have appeared on the left. Next, let's look at the most important element of the GNOME desktop, the Activities menu. Clicking Activities will bring up a screen with a number of different elements. At the top of this menu is a search bar where you can search for applications and settings. For example, you can search for and open your text editor here. Now when you go to the Activities menu again, it gives you a peek at all of your open windows. If you want to switch to a window, you can simply click it. If you want to close a window, you can click the Close button in the top right corner. Along the left side of the Activities menu is a Quick Launch bar, with shortcuts to a few applications. At the bottom of this Quick Launch bar is a button to display your frequently used applications, or all applications installed on your computer. Your applications are arranged in a grid across a number of pages. You can scroll down to the next page using the scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can use these buttons on the right side of the screen. Some applications are contained in application folders. For example, if you click the Utilities folder, you are presented with all of your applications included in that folder. On the right side of the Activities menu is a list of all of your available workspaces. You can click a workspace to switch to it. Any empty workspaces will automatically be dismissed. Let's take a quick look at the GNOME settings. Here, we have an array of options pertaining to our personal preferences, computer hardware, and system settings. I'll just look in the background settings for now. Clicking the background button presents us with options for our desktop background and lock screen background. Clicking either one gives us a large selection of background images. Let's change the background to our desktop. Simply select the background you would like to use, and then click Select. If you would like to lock the screen, simply click the lock button in the user menu. Your lock screen will appear and your screen will turn off. To wake it up, simply move the mouse or press a key on the keyboard. Swipe up to display the password prompt, then type your password and either press enter or click unlock to return to your desktop. GNOME 3 provides customization options through the use of extensions. To install an extension, open Firefox and go to extensions.gnome.org. If it's your first time visiting the site, you'll be prompted to enable the GNOME Shell integration plugin. Click Allow, and then click Allow and Remember. It's not a bad idea to refresh the page after doing this. Now you'll be presented with a list of extensions available for your system. To install an extension, simply click its name and then click the switch to turn it on. I've just enabled the Places Status Indicator, which gives me a list of important folders on my computer. To disable an extension, simply click the switch again and it will be disabled. 
Finally, if you would like to turn off or restart your computer, go to the user menu and click the power button. You'll be given the option to shut down or restart your system. GNOME 3 is a powerful and elegant desktop environment. Feel free to explore the desktop and tweak it to your liking. My name is Ben High, and I hope you enjoyed this introduction to GNOME 3. Thank you for watching.